In this video, you're gonna find out about the conscious and the subconscious mind and everything you need to know in order to make changes in your life. The conscious mind accepts or rejects or rejects information. So either I can say to you, you look beautiful. If you don't believe that subconsciously, the conscious mind will either reject it or will accept it if you do believe that. And this is where learning to take compliments is a very powerful thing actually. Now, the conscious mind is the thinking mind, the educated mind, the intellectual mind. I'm gonna go off here with what I've got written down and I'm gonna explain it in a bit more detail. Whereas the subconscious mind is the emotional mind, it cannot reject, it must accept information um, and cannot determine the difference between that which is real or imagined and that is hilarious because now what I talk about is how the subconscious mind when you're in such a powerful state of mind hypnosis meditation some form of trance your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between what is real and what is imagined therefore if you create that vivid image of yourself you're literally creating new neural pathways in your brain to think this is me I don't know what else I need to say about that Again, I've learned this years ago, but I only accepted it the last couple of years. And it's interesting. And this is why information is a constant growth. We're constantly learning that have that hunger like Bob Proctor did. He started with no qualifications, came out of school, but had a work ethic and created something. But the conscious mind versus the subconscious mind, the conscious mind is the more analytical mind and the subconscious is the more emotional mind. Now, if there's a fight between emotion and logic, so the conscious mind is logic as well as analytical. If there's a it's a if there's a fight between logical and emotional mind, the logic will always win. I think I said that right. The emotional mind will always win. That's that's what I meant to say. If I didn't say that right, the emotional mind will always win. Reason being is imagine it like a toddler stamping his feet. I want to go and stand on stage and speak in front of people because that's what I'd love to do. But last time you did that, it was really scary and I don't like it. And next time if you do it again, then I'm gonna be really, really scared and I don't want to be scared, Max. But think about it, nothing bad's actually gonna happen. We're not going to feel real pain. We're not gonna actually die from doing this, are we? Well, yeah, but what you don't understand is I'm really, really scared. Fine, you win. Let's just not do it. Ta-da! Sign me up, Hollywood. That is the emotional mind winning the battle because it's very easy for the emotion to keep going until it feels safe and secure. So depending on what you want, if, you're sub if you don't have what you want, the reason is, is your subconscious mind doesn't accept it yet. Now, can you reprogram yourself? Yes, you actually can. And if you want to reprogram yourself, get a free energy alignment session with myself and we can help you reprogram your subconscious mind to become the person that you want to be, to really create that future that you want, desire and deserve.